This is the Nokia G11 Plus, and it's sort of like a remix between the G21 and the G11 in a slightly different design. So let's unbox it and talk about all of its key features. The box design is fairly standard with three years of security updates highlighted on the side and some of the most basic specs on the back. Inside the box, you get the handset, the SIM ejection tool, product and safety booklets in the relevant languages, a see-through jelly case depending on your region, a USB-C to USB-A charging cable, and a couple of cheap headsets. Do keep in mind that the device comes with a pre-applied screen protector. Just make sure you don't accidentally remove it while removing the sticker with some of the device's key features. On the front, you have a 6.5 inch IPS LCD display with an HD plus resolution, and it also comes with a 90 Hertz fast refresh rate. There's a V-notch that houses an eight megapixel front facing camera and nice chunky bezels all around. On the right, you've got the volume rocker keys and the power key, while the left houses the dual SIM slot and SD card slot. So you can use two SIM cards as well as a micro SD slot to expand the memory. And it seems like Nokia has finally removed the dedicated Google Assistant button from the left left side. On the top there is the 3.5 mm headphone jack and on the bottom there's the USB-C cable and a microphone hole. The back of the G11 Plus is fairly busy so you have the 50 megapixel main camera, you have a 2 megapixel depth sensor and an LED flash. There's also a fingerprint scanner located in the middle of the device and a loudspeaker located near the bottom. The whole device is made out of polycarbonate plastic and it feels fairly solid in the hand. You don't get that cheap hollow feeling that some smartphones suffer from these days. The back is also textured, but here it feels very smooth for a textured back. And thankfully the camera plate here isn't glossy like the G11, so it shouldn't get scratched as easily. The device also comes with 4 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of built-in storage. Now in terms of software, the G11 Plus comes with Android 12 out of the box, and Nokia is promising two years of OS updates and three years of security updates. Nokia uses a very stock version of Android, so there's barely any bloatware here, and the pre-installed apps such as LinkedIn, Netflix, Spotify, and ExpressVPN can all be uninstalled if you don't need them. So there are no duplicate apps for all the basic services that you need, and you'll be using the Google versions of everything. By the way, you can use the fingerprint scanner to bring down the notification shade if that's your type of thing. I also expect very similar performance from this like the G11 and the G21, which is pretty good unless you're doing really heavy multitasking and using graphic intensive tasks. This is helped by the fact that stock Android is pretty lightweight and there is a 720p display on this, which both reduce the load on the Unisoc T606 processor. Speaking of which, in order to understand the performance even better, we have to understand the processor that's used. So the Unisoc T606 processor is an octa-core processor that's clocked at 1.6 gigahertz. It uses two performance cores, which are A75 cores, and six power efficient cores that are A55 cores. The performance cores are pretty good at giving the device the burst of energy required in order to launch apps as quickly as possible. And while the device is idle and you're not requiring a lot of performance out of it, the efficient cores are doing their job. Anyway, what this all means is that if you're using the device for social media, taking phone calls and light multitasking, you should be absolutely fine. Now a key selling point for such a device is the battery life, and it comes with a fairly large 5000 milliamps inside. Based on my testing with the G11 and G21, which both have the exact same capacity of battery, same display type, and same processor, you can expect to get about 12 hours of screen on time from this. So up to three days of battery life is theoretically possible, but you do have to be pretty conservative with your usage. Realistically though, you'll end up between two days and two and a half days of normal usage. In terms of camera, yes, this comes with a 50 megapixel camera, which uses AI technology but not every 50 megapixel camera is created equally. This is a budget friendly device, so the sensor on this is pretty tiny. As a result, the pixels are fairly small, but what it does well is gather more light than your typical 13 megapixel sensor. The end result are shots that look pretty vibrant and look perfectly usable for social media, but don't expect to keep any good level of resolved detail, especially if you start zooming in. Let's capture a selfie to see how that 8 megapixel camera holds up. The camera interface is pretty basic, so you get a portrait mode, you get a night mode, there's slow motion video, a time-lapse mode, and a panorama mode. 
Shots are captured in a 12.5 megapixel resolution because the sensor uses pixel pinning. You can enable capturing full 50 megapixel resolution shots, but it's fairly pointless and just increases the size of the images without that much of a benefit really. Video capturing on the G11 Plus is fairly basic, so it can capture 1080p video at 30 frames per second and there is no software stabilization. If you want to play games on this device, you can, but do keep your expectations in check. You'll mostly end up with low to medium graphical settings on most games at around 30 frames frames per second. Let's test out the loudspeaker. I mean, it just about does the job and you shouldn't really miss any phone calls, but don't expect high quality audio. So what do you guys think about the G11 Plus? Is this the kind of device you'd be interested in buying? Or what kind of features do you think it should have included? Share your thoughts with me in the comments below. If you want other options from Nokia within a similar price range, check out my G11 video review here or check out my video covering the G21. Thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe and I shall see you in the next one.